Good morning. I'm not sharing the word uh, today, but uh, Pastor Arun will be doing that for us. Uh, I've come to you with uh, some important announcements and some essential encouragement uh, for that purpose. Um, some of us have been inquiring as to when we're going to start our gatherings. And uh, uh, it's for that purpose that I have come to give clarity uh, right now. So our first gathering after all this time is going to be on the Christmas morning. So December 25th at 11 a.m., we will be having our Christmas serving gathering at the Warsaw Welfare Hall, the hall where we used to meet earlier for all these years. That's, called, that's where we're going to be meeting for our Christmas service on December 25th at 11 a.m. Um, so praise God for that. Uh, praise God for the availability of the hall. Um, and uh, we had been trying for a few days, uh, but we were not able to uh, get the clarity and uh, we were not able to get other places, but uh, this worked out. So we're grateful to God. Um, now, just to give clarity about the Christmas week as we move ahead, December 26th, that's the next day after Christmas, though it's a Sunday, we will not be having any services. We're not going to be having any service, no physical gathering, no online service on December 26th. So uh, you have an option of using that day or any of the day during the week, the Christmas week, uh, as a time for Thanksgiving in your respective life groups. So <clears throat> there are some life groups that are doing it earlier before Christmas. And there are some who may want to consider doing it uh, during the Christmas week before the New Year's. But we encourage you. I encourage you to do so because it will be a great uh, encouragement and a blessing uh, to everyone in your life groups. And so we request you to plan your Thanksgiving um, uh, sometime during the Christmas week. So there is no service on December 26th. Uh, thirdly, um, our New Year's service will not be a physical gathering. It will only be online at 10.30 p.m. onwards on 31st of December. So the new service, we will not be having a gathering. Uh, also because we're concerned that uh, uh, the government may bring some kind of a restriction on that night, as they have done on this weekend. They've actually uh, put out Section 144 and uh, prohibited any kind of public gathering. So it being unpredictable, we don't want to take a chance and we need to plan. So uh, New Year's service will be completely online English service at 10.30 p.m. Uh, on 31st of December. So let me just uh, sum it up. Christmas service uh, is our first gathering in all these months uh, at uh, Warsaw Welfare Hall uh, on December 25th morning at 11 a.m. No service the next day on December 26th, though it's a Sunday. And Thanksgiving could be planned in your respective live groups any day that you choose on any day and time and place um, uh, as for your respective live groups. And the New Year service will be only online at 10.30 p.m. Now, about our services from January, uh, we will discuss and plan and inform you at the earliest. You know, we need to prayerfully, thoughtfully discuss this as there are factors that need to be considered, uh, including financial and uh, we may need to build the momentum gradually. Now, even as we are uh, going to move into physical gatherings, I want to assure everyone that we will continue to be online. Uh, we've had the joy of some of our uh, church members uh, who used to be part of our physical gatherings, used to be part of our church when, when they were here in Mumbai connecting from abroad. They've been connecting from another city or another country. And even there are importantly going to be members of our own church who do not, for whatever reason, feel safe or comfortable to gather. And uh, we want to make sure that they're able to uh, connect and be blessed by keeping the service also online. So though we are going to gather physically, we will also make sure that we have uh, the, the tech and the equipment to be able to broadcast our service simultaneously online. Now, when we gather I encourage us to primarily value this truth that we are the house of God. Children of God connected uh, to each other in the bond of love being built up as a house of God. You see, the house of God is not a physical building. It's not the brick stones and the, and the cement. 
what is the house of God today uh, in the New Testament and will be forever is us as children of God, as living stones, as the Apostle Peter writes in his episode, being connected to one another in the bond of love. And we become the sanctuary of God's presence. And uh, let's remember this and be grateful when we gather in gratitude and worship. And let's remember that when we do so in faith, when we do so in purity, when we do so in love, when we do so in humility, in the Lord's name, he promises to be with us. Let's be grateful that some of us will be able to meet physically after so long. Now, why am I uh, sharing this uh, uh, as, as important to remember and remind each other? Uh, here are some simple facts uh, that we need to, um, you know, be aware of. You know, when, you, when those of you who will come for the physical gathering, the hall, the venue will not look as it used to. It, it, the hall is going to be, uh, if the hall is going to be used in the long run, well, we will look at renovating it. But when you come there on December 25th, uh, don't expect the works as we used to do it. You remember we used to really decorate the whole place up and we used to paint the hall every year, actually. And uh, But the facility has been unused for almost now one year and 11 months. And uh, so I want us to uh, be gracious in that sense and be grateful more than just gracious. Be grateful that we have the opportunity and the place to gather. Secondly, not everyone can gather so our gatherings would be much smaller than what it used to be. There are government restrictions. Further to that, they could be uh, our brothers and sisters. Some of them, like I said earlier, would not be comfortable to gather. So it would be smaller. So don't uh, freak out. You know, Don't implode inside. Don't feel disappointed. No, let's be grateful and happy that we can gather. And let's also be grateful that we have our brothers and sisters who are still connected online. So let's connect. Let's reconnect. And let's really care for one another. Importantly, contribute. Be part of a ministry team. You know, could you volunteer to come early and help in the setup or join the greeters or the ushers team or the sound team? You know, could you, could you step up and say, you know what, Shannon, this is my house. This is our church. This is our family. I want to be an active part of it. I don't want to walk in like a guest. I don't want to walk in like, uh, you know, uh, this is all done up for me. Uh, you know, this is not okay. That is not okay. Where's the ACs? You know, uh, why is the curtains not there? And, and that's, not, uh, that's not the kind of attitude that really builds. Up. You know, we, we need to have an attitude that says we want to contribute. This is our church. This is our family. And uh, yes, there's a physical setup that is important. And we want to contribute to help build that up, you know. So uh, we will need some time to figure out how to get the tech and equipment in this place. We, we may not have the required camera. We may not have the required equipment. We've always been used to, and we are very well prepared for a live gathering. But uh, if it's going to be simultaneously live and online, uh, we need to get some uh, equipment and some education on that. So we will continue to be online, as I said. Uh, and as of now, maybe most of the service or all of the service will be pre-recorded. So what's going to be the excitement? Yes, coming together physically, having some uh, meal together and enjoying uh, the goodness of God. So as uh, just the last part, crucial in all of this is being part of a life group. I want to again uh, emphasize that it's scriptural and it's vital for our spiritual health and growth. So be part of a life group, beloved, so that you don't feel lost. You'll be blessed. And you remember the golden command of the Lord, right? Do unto others what you would want others to do to you. So let's change our, our mindset or the attitude of our minds. You know, why doesn't anybody call me? Uh, you know, why is this not done for me? Why is that not done for me? And you know what? What you want others to do for you, do it unto others. And as you sow, so will you reap because he's the Lord of the harvest. So let's, as far as possible, encourage, support, and contribute to fulfill the vision the Lord has given us and the joy of doing it together with the Lord, right? So to love him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, to love people as we love ourselves, and to preach the gospel and to make disciples. So we'll be seeing you on December 25th, those of you who will gather. And, uh, but we will continue to be online this Sunday, and the following Sunday we will be online. Yeah, and we will continue to be online even when the physical gatherings begin. So God bless you. And now over to Pastor Arun as he brings 
the Lord's word to us. God bless you.